All right, ladies, do I have a treat for you? Especially those of you that have to pass a drug test when somebody's watching you. We all know how hard it is to piss in a cup when somebody's standing in front of you, much less pass a fucking drug test, especially if you're trying to smuggle shit in. So um, here's what I learned. I learned this by a friend of mine who told me she's been getting away with this for quite some time. Basically, what you're going to be doing is buying something called a stamped water bottle. Stamped water bottle is basically a plastic uh, bottle about yay big, you know, about yay thick, I don't know. They come in various sizes. Um, I'm not quite sure how big your vagina is, so I can't really advise you on what size you're going to need. Somewhere in between it being so big that you walk in there looking like you just got fucked behind a dumpster or, you know, about to give birth to a duck. Or, you know, when you, but you don't want to fall down, you know, to your ankles. Like, you know, your vagina is as big as like the Grand Canyon and just parted ways. You drop your bombs out of there, right? So you're going to have to figure this out for yourself. You can get three water bottles, stamped water bottles for, um, I think they're like 10 bucks for three. And stamped water bottles, basically a plastic little bottle, like a vial, right? It has like a sponge applicator at the end of it, like, you know, boop, boop, boop. So what you're going to do is you're going to fill that motherfucker up with good piss and you're going to stick it up your vagina. Boop, straight up the hatch, like, pow! Stick it up there, and you're gonna wanna practice so you don't piss yourself doing it. So it's not too big, not too small. You know, again, I don't know about your vagina. I can't advise you because I don't have one. But I'm sure that you can figure it out. Also, I don't know if you need to keep the cap on it when you go in there so you don't piss yourself, or if the sponge is enough that it doesn't, you don't piss until you try. So basically, here's how it was explained to me. Put the urine up there, and also the, the water bottle has the uh, great Great added bonus of being able to, well, sticking up your coochie is being able to keep it at body temperature, which it will be. So that's good too. So you're gonna to wanna to try to do this like, you know, at least probably 30, I'd say 30 minutes before you uh, actually have to take the piss test. Now, you go in there and apparently it's not a matter of contracting the vagina, like you don't have to crush it, like, you know, it's not a, not a, you know, make the vagina tight again exercise, no. What it is, is uh, I guess from what I hear, from what she told me, is it's you're sticking it pretty high up there to where you can like bend forward, I guess, and put pressure on your lower abdomen. And that is what will dispel liquid from your coochie. And uh, yeah, that's basically how it's done. Um, again, you know, uh, definitely practice. Don't hold me accountable if that shit gets stuck in your cooch. It's not my fault. I don't have a vagina. Never tried this myself, but I know the chick does not have one in her vagina. Yes, because I would know this. So, uh, it does work. Um, that's about all I can tell you. Good luck, but of course, you know, for liability reasons, I'm going to say, you know, um, of course, the best way to pass a drug test, boys and girls, is not to do drugs. But in the events you're at a party and a Mexican prostitute slips you a roofie, you know, with LSD and, I don't know, probably heroin or something in it. <sighs> Gotta be safe. So yeah, I would uh, definitely get in the habit. And ladies, why you practice this method? Definitely practice, because the worst thing would be is if you tried this and you fucked it up and failed. And you can't sue me because this is for entertainment purposes only, but it really does work. So anyway, um, practice. But while you're practicing, I mean, at least try a few different sizes. Get them up there, try peeing, make sure you don't piss yourself, make sure it doesn't fall out, make sure you don't give birth to a water bottle in front of your probation officer. When you're sticking it up there and trying all these things out though, you know, the best thing to keep in mind is Think of me and how cool I fucking am to have made this fucking video about how to tell women how to pass drug tests that are being watched. Because I'm the man!